Excuse me, sir. Might we have a few words with you? Of course, Fräulein. Do you require assistance? Is that bat threatening you? No, he's actually a friend of mine. But thanks for asking. I have to say, you seem eager to help. That I am. It was my dream to be a member of the Deals, the Draxylvanian Elite Air, Land and Sea Rescue Squad. But I was unable to qualify for the service, so I had to settle for being a constable. What happened? Why did you fail to qualify? I have a condition known as FC, which stands for Fragile Coccyx. Uh, apparently, due to the occasional bout of anemia and limited access to vitamins as a child, my coccyx does not have the strength to withstand the arduous training curriculum. Why did you want to be a member of the deals? They stand for truth, justice and the Draxylvanian way. And most importantly, they help people in need. There is also my secondary motivation of trying to escape my brother's shadow. What does your brother have to do with this? My brother was one of the first deals. On his inaugural mission, he saved an entire village from being destroyed when floods caused the spillway of the Lake Varg Dam to malfunction. Ever since then, he's been known throughout the land for his heroic deeds. Haven't you had a chance to do anything heroic? Sure. I've stopped a few pickpockets, prevented the occasional murder, and harassed that cat house across the way out of business. Nail salon, my... Where was I? Oh yes, but I've never done anything that's been recognized. What sort of recognition are you looking for? I want the town to know me as a hero. A key to the city would be nice. But most importantly, I want them to look at me and say, There is Constable Crane. He saved somebody. If I could only help somebody truly in need. This guy is a real piece of work. What sort of person would you want to help? Perhaps an elderly person? No, I know, a child. If I could save a child from some hideous fate, the old town would sing my praises. Settle? Constable sounds like an exciting and rewarding job. It can be, but this job can also suck the life right out of you. The endless social problems and crime-ridden slums wear you down eventually? No, I mean literally. We lose half our constables each year due to blood loss from animal bites. I'm beginning to suspect it may be the work of... Uh, oh, forget it. What? Tell me. Jackalopes. Vampiric jackalopes. This guy is out of his gourd. Listen. These creatures survive on the blood of others and burrow deep into graves to sleep during the day. I think they are behind the attack of anemia that has been plaguing Draxylvania over these many years. But no one will listen, except you. You believe me, don't you? My, what lovely weather we are having. <sighs> that was one dream. Surely you have other dreams and aspirations. I wanted to be a member of Lake Watch, a team of Draxylvania's best-looking lifeguards. I wanted to be able to save lives and show my brother E isn't the only hero in the Crane family. Why didn't you join? I tried out. I broke every speed and strength record they had. But in the end, they said I wasn't photogenic enough. Why are you out here all alone? The Burgermeister gave the cushy stadium gate job to my brother Lou and stuck me with watching the nail salon. Just because Lou saved the Burgermeister's family from a pack of werewolves that attacked them during their Christmas feast. Wow! How on earth did he do that? <laughs> it's no big deal. Lou just gathered some hair samples from a previous werewolf attack, then analyzed them in his basement lab where he discovered some iridium-rich deposits in the fur. Lou then deduced the iridium could only come from a meteor crater, so he went up to Chillblood Crater wearing a hand-stitched werewolf costume that he'd sprayed with synthetic female werewolf urine and infiltrated the pack for three weeks. During the attack, he sprayed the entire pack with liquid silver nitrate, incapacitating all of them except the leader. He then fought the pack leader on the top tower of the Burgermeister's house, while the leader used the Burgermeister's daughter as a shield. Lou used psychological baiting to catch the pack leader off guard so he could slay the beast with his own silver dagger. Lou is such a glory hog, I swear! He did all that just to make me look bad so I get stuck out of here while he got the cushy stadium job. He is always doing that. Lou is such a manipulator. 
I'm Mona de la Fit, maybe opera singer. Who are you? Constable Bud Crane at your service. If there is trouble afoot, I'm your man. Is there anything I can help you with, Fraulein? You look new in town. I was a guest of the, uh, Gina Martinelli. Until today, that is. I'm trying to get back to Paris, so I'm looking for transport down to the port tonight. Know any? No coaches come through here in the winter. And I'm afraid the old town, except me, is at the big game going on in the stadium. I suggest you wait till tomorrow afternoon, after the town sleeps off their drunken stupor. Do you know the Baron Shroudy von Kiefer? The Baron? I've never met him, but he's known around these parts for his rather unusual personality, especially around tall women. <laughs> now they say his mother was even weirder. Some of the things I've heard about her would keep you up at night. It's strange Baron Shroudy's not here tonight, since he is the owner of the Vlad's Landing All Black Sports franchise. Makes me suspicious. Um, why is that? I heard a report from my cousin Otto, a glory hog himself, that the Baron's boat, clothes and a coffin were found by the late shore, but no Baron. I bet it was that gypsy witch Strigoi. Never trusted her kind. Otto was supposed to report in over an hour ago to spell me, but hasn't shown up. I bet he's passed out drunk somewhere. Just my luck. Can this night get any worse? Tell me about Vlad's Landing. Vlad's Landing? Not much to tell. It used to be a small hill town called Vlad's Lot, until a rich, creepy writer named Stefan Rex moved in and founded a sports stadium. Apparently, he's a big sports fanatic. It used to be named after him until Scarlet Bovine bought the naming rights last year. Anywho, when they dammed the Varg River, it became a centre of trade for all the local villages on the lake and its tributaries, and was renamed Vlad's Landing. What happened to this writer? Ah, he went insane when he borrowed a ton of money from the old Baron to fund a horrible play called Wagons. Get this, the story was about wagons coming to life, running people over and terrorising a group of people stuck in a livery stable. <laughs> It was so stupid, the play closed down during the first act. He lost it all, money, respect, and his sanity. I think he's an inmate now at Dr. Legume's Asylum for the Sanity Challenged. Heard he still writes for the Insanity Today magazine. A magazine by and for asylum inmates. I'm new here. Would you tell me about Draxylvania? The Draxylvania is just a group of baronies nested high up in the Draxylvanian Alps. It is a semi-independent country within the Austro-Hungarian Empire. We're known for our odd customs, beliefs and mythologies. Like what? Well, some of the big ones are uh, our nobles only come out at night, we all use garlic way too much, cover the doors, windows, even bathe in it. Um, some neighbouring countries call us Stinksylvania because the garlic smell often wafts over their countries doing high winds. Uh, let's see, we put crosses everywhere and we're constantly being plagued by some sort of weird disease. Uh, it's either lycanthropy one year, spontaneous anemia the next, or random outbreaks of insanity and paranoia. It's as if this land was cursed by God, or the spirits of all things pure and holy. Eh, but it's home. What's in that dark alley back there? It leads to the back of the stadium and the side door. Athletes and event staff only. Other than that, just a few boxes of junk and old sports equipment and the like. Of course it is a dark alley. We have had a few incidents take place in there. I have been pleading with the City Council to light the darn thing up, but they say their budget is taken up with a new public anti-anemia campaign. Just say no to night visitors. I like to stay near the alley entrance, just in case something happens again. Well, that is enough for now. I need to go.